Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, gonna break down Queen, another one bites the dust. A lot of it is bass playing, I'm gonna show you all the bass lines, but we've got some really nice funky disco kind of rhythms going on as well, and it's just an awesome song. So uh, let's zoom in and break it down. First things first, we have the classic bass line. Uh, it's not really done on guitar, but I'm gonna show it to you. It's the open E. Uh, oh, oh, three, oh, five. You know, great easy beginner kind of little riff. I have a, a video teaching the real easy version, but. And then five, three, oh, 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 three, oh, five, five, three, oh, 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 three, oh, five, five, da, da. Now, sometimes it doesn't do da, 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 and you can hear it on the record when he doesn't do it, but that's in there a lot. I just put an octaver on and then you can really get the sound. Right? All right. Not everyone has that, but that's fun. Now the guitar player, Brian May, is playing just an octave up during a lot of that. So I'm playing it right here, seventh fret A string. Five on the D, back to seven and then right next door on the seven of the D. And actually he doesn't do, he just does. Now it grooves out in this kind of disco vibe. And so we're playing an E minor seven chord Bard on that seventh fret there, A minor seven looking shape. Then we're going to A minor seven, and you can play it this way, just like an A minor bar chord with the pinky off. What I do is I omit that A string by playing this voicing, middle finger on that root, and then ring finger starts on the D and kind of bars across. And the middle finger's just muting that A string as opposed to that. And uh, in the funky stuff, less notes sometimes is, uh, a lot of times is better. So E minor seven. So it stays on E longer than that A. So now with the right hand, look at that. Paint brush it, paint it, paint it, paint the fence. You know, just groove out 16th notes, feel the groove. And then with the bar chord, and obviously you're going to have to practice this, but just keep doing it and you'll get better. Um, you, you play that E minor 7, and when you relax it, you get the muted sound. And when I just squeeze down, you hear the chord ring out. Same thing with that. And on this one, can do a little slide in from the fourth fret up. Next part, C, G, C, G. And so the bass line is going C, 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 D, G, G. And then A up to B. And so what we're doing is on the A to the B, those should be power chords. And on the C, G, or C, D, G, there's really no guitar on that, but you could double the bass line. The structure of it is a C major chord to a G major chord. Actually, I think they should all be power chords, though. 
So you could go, or even, and what happens in two different parts of the song, there's a little, and pull E, and so you're tugging down on that third fret of the, of the E string. And then an E power chord there. So check it out. Now A power chord to B power chord. Right then, boom. Just doing this again. And another one's gone, and another one's gone. Next, F sharp, and we'll do a power chord. And then an A power chord. Then an F sharp power chord again. Bites the dust. The guitar rest. Another one bites the dust. So check it out. Get you to another one bites the dust. And obviously there's like a backwards piano swell that's a big part of those tension and releases in that song. But um, but anyway, here we go. Uh, uh, all the way through. Play along with me, if you dare, from the uh, disco part. One, two, three, four. Thank you again, you guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. If there's a song you'd like to see, you can leave your request in the comments below. I also appreciate you going over to martymusic.com, signing the newsletter, and you'll get some free courses. Uh, other than that, thanks again. Hope to see you real soon.